वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर देवेश फ्रॉम डीपीएमए देवेश प्रीमियर मेडिकल एकेडमी एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ टू हैव अ अप्रोच फॉर इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज व्हाट हैपेंस टू अ स्टूडेंट ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम टाइम एंड वाइल डूइंग सेल्फ स्टडी आल्सो दे डू नॉट हैव द इनसाइट हाउ टू अप्रोच फॉर एनी इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस डिस्कशन आई एम गोइंग टू एम्फिसाइज while doing self study also and during exam time also how you should approach to understand any image or how you should approach to solve any image based question right so that is very important thing so first of all i would like to say that whenever you are seeing any image in your textbook while going for self study do not have any worry first of all be confident don't have any kind of panic attack give time to that image try to focus on those things and try to talk to those images remember that is very essential and at the end of my discussion you will come to know how to talk to any images for our self understanding or for understanding any concept which is related to that image right so whenever we are seeing any image so number one point what we should remember we will never get panic right whether it is a exam time or whether it is a self study time right now i am going to tell you how to study images right or how to have a approach for images there are three important things regarding this approach number 1 as i have written here you can see that follow rule of 3 so whenever you are seeing any image you should know one thing right you should never get worry and first thing whatever you, should come to your mind it should be rule of 3 so what is rule of 3 right rule of 3 means there are three things which we have to follow when we are seeing any image in our exam whether it is a histopathology image or whether it is a hematology image right so histopathology or hematology any kind of image when you are seeing in your self study or during your exam time you should follow three rules rule of 5 rule of observation and rule of comparison three things we should remember five rule of observation rule of comparison now we will see one by one what is this rule of five so whenever we see any slide see i am showing you this slide whenever we are seeing any slide while doing a study or in during exam time what should be our approach so this is the histopathology slide so first of all we should observe rule of five rule of five says that in any slide you should focus on five areas see what i said rule of 5 says focus on five areas so what is rule of 5 says that four corners so number 1 right first corner you can see first corner suppose you are seeing this one so first corner is this one second corner is this one third corner is this one fourth corner is this one so now you can see that there are four corners behind me so one one two three four so four corners you should see and then the fifth area will be the central part of this slide so that is called rule of 5 so make it as a habit make it as a has a habit whenever you are seeing any slide you i will look for the five areas that is called rule of 5 all four corners and the center number 1 then second thing is rule of observation then you observe what we are observing i am observing there are some cells which are elongated or flat in this one area second area i am seeing some columnar cells third area i am seeing these columnar cells are forming glands fourth area i am seeing the same thing fifth area when i am looking at the fifth area what i am observing in this area i am seeing the transition from the squamous elongated cells to the columnar cells right so this is my observation right so after observing all these thing you start compare compare means what we have to compare with related things so here comparison is squamous but the lower part of esophagus is showing the columnar cells and these are having certain changes like vacuoles are there inside them so probably these are the goblet cells which are not seen usually what i am seeing after observation and comparison i am finding that these are some different cells so this is a example of metaplasia right this is the barrett's esophagus this is the esophageal biopsy and barrett's esophagus so that is what i said whenever you are seeing any image remember rule of 5 rule of observation 
रूल ऑफ कंपेरिजन फॉर हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल स्लाइड राइट नाउ कमिंग टू दी हिमेटोलॉजी स्लाइड हाउ यू हैव टू अप्रोच फॉर हिमेटोलॉजी स्लाइड सो वेन यू आर डूइंग सेम थिंग यू हैव टू डू रूल ऑफ फाइव सो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो फाइव एरियाज यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व इमीडिएटली देन आफ्टर ऑब्जर्वेशन आफ्टर ऑब्जर्वेशन यू हैव टू कंपेयर right so what what we are going to compare with with respect to whom we are going to compare so when it is a hematology slide so number one point we have to remember identify the normal rbc identify the normal rbc how normal rbc will be looking like they will be having they will be having central pallor which will be one third of the diameter of the rbc so normal rbc will be having one third of the diameter of the rbc so where it is normal rbc you can see approximately when i am observing i will say that this is the normal rbc right so that is how you have to observe the normal thing first right so normal rbc why we are wanting to observe normal rbc so that we can compare with the surroundings and when you are comparing this with the surrounding rbcs like this or this one or this one or this one so what you are observing these rbcs are bigger so larger rbc so these are all macro sites so that is how we have to study first you have to go for rule of 5 then observe the normal rbc and then you start comparing with the surrounding cells so that we can come to a conclusion so while doing this rule of 5 1 2 3 4 5 fifth area when i came i observed that inside this neutrophil there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and more than 5 nuclear lobes are there so it is a probably hyper segmented neutrophil and while seeing this normal rbc and when we are comparing with surrounding rbcs macro velocites so this is a big rbc right so macro ovalocytosis hyper segmented neutrophil again ab- observe and compare with the surrounding cell when we are comparing this rbc with this rbc we can see there is a blue bodies and these are howell jolly bodies right so these are howell jolly bodies so when we are seeing howell jolly bodies so we can say that these are the three characteristic triad of the megaloblastic anemia so that is a very simple so during exam time you need not to become panic when you are seeing any image based question whether it is histopathology or hematology rule of 5 rule of observation rule of comparison will definitely give you a cutting edge so whenever question had been asked don't become panic first reflex i will see images at the five places all four corners in this center then start observation then you compare cells with each other talk to them that is the meaning of talking to them i am asking what is this what you are having what is this why you are so big why neutrophil you are having so many segments are you hyper segmented so like that we have to study about them and we have to approach for hematology question right so image based study as i said number 1 you have to follow rule of 5 rule of observation rule of comparison right this is for exam as well as for self study both when we are doing self study often we miss the images and we do not emphasize on the images but images are the real crucial things which gives us understanding about the concept related to that topic so images are very very vital whenever you are going through some paragraph or some topic try to observe images and lines below those images are very very important remember my point i again repeat lines given below those images are very important not only it will help us to understand the concept it will also help us to understand what will be the future question and how you can give your smart answer because in exam when this questions will be coming this will be a tough question for us right so now you can see this is a picture taken from the robins where i am showing you these two images of the kidney graft rejection which is acute humoral graft rejection as you can see how it is written acute antibody mediated humoral rejection right so this image may not be asked in your exam but the line below given this image when you are going through the textbook reading or when you are doing self study and you are following the lines whatever it is given showing inflammation in peritubular capillaries immunoperoxidase stain so immunoperoxidase stain it's a brown color you will observe 
right and they are showing c4d deposition in the peritubular capillaries so when you are going through this images okay 1 2 3 4 5 observe 1 2 3 4 5 observe brown color is immunoperoxidase staining and what is this this is the c4d deposition so this immunoperoxidase is a c4d deposition and this was the question in aims 2016 right acute humoral graft rejection what is the characteristic feature and characteristic feature was c4d deposition so that that is how you will be this this photogenic memory will be in your mind and that is why we emphasize keep seeing images from the standard textbook keep seeing the lines given below those images they are your future questions that is how you should approach so whenever we are studying any image you must see the images and lines below them and they are your question as you can see here c4d deposition another example which i want to show you here is the renal pathology from the robins itself now you can see two immunofluorescence pattern which i used to teach in my lecture also right you can see there is a granular pattern and there is a linear pattern if you look at them both were aims question this was membranous glomerulonephritis in context with examiner had given in previous year exam and this was the question in AIMS as well as PGI both exam. So AIMS and PGI both had asked this question. So what we are seeing here, it's a linear ribbon like you can see how it is written linear characteristic of classic anti-GBM disease which is a good pasture disease and that was the image which examiner had asked and the line which is given below here that immune complex disease linear IgG and C3 deposition will be present in which of the renal pathology that was the PGI question previous year so now you can see that not only for the image based uh, exams like AIMS and All India even non-image based question paper like PGI that given this kind of question that is the advantage keep seeing images keep seeing the line below them this memory this photogenic memory will remain inside your mind and when you will see the question you will become very happy oh my god i saw that line below those images and now it is our mcq so my friends try to understand images are very important keep seeing images keep seeing the lines below those images they may build your concepts also i'm just giving you some of the example here and keep focusing so last one month i will advise you to see images of robins and harrison at least i am not saying you can go through all images of robins and harrison but you can select system wise when you are going through the 10 year question paper or 5 year question paper you will know that these topics are important so choose those topics and from those topics try to see images for example if you are following harrison cardiovascular system is important dermatology is important hematology system is important so these images i'm not saying to you read that entire chapter see images see the line below given uh, those images that are your future question same with the robins also try to see images of the systemic pathology important topics like a kidney brain right or cardiovascular system or respiratory system so images you keep on revising those images from the standard textbook remember from the standard textbook and keep seeing the lines below those images they will be your question and i am telling you when you are revising these two books in your last one month or two months of your preparation all india aims pgi jipmer whatever exam you are going to write you will be finding this immensely helpful during exam time so remember my word keep revising images because one time you will not understand you will forget about them so keep revising them at least three times of revision of images is mandatory to remember them or to register them in your memory so images are important and i have discussed about how to approach for image and how you should study image and how you should approach for image based question in your exam right if you have any query you can write your query in my comment box and i will definitely try to reply those answer and my best wishes to all students